It's a beautiful day in Portsmouth, Virginia. Hi, I'm Tom Stevens with Indigo Electronics. And today we'll be walking you through the steps of installing an XR3000 electronic ignition on an Atomic 4 late model with a Delco distributor. Let's go down below and get started. Here are all the components of the kit laid out. The module, hardware, new breaker plate, coil, and we'll be putting those on in the same sequence as the instructions are written. The first step in the process is to get the engine oriented such that the number one cylinder is at top dead center. Number one is the forwardmost one here, and that wire attaches to the most outboard cap on the distributor. We'll next remove the wires and the distributor cap and the plugs. In order to get the number one cylinder at top dead center, we will rotate the crankshaft with a wrench on the output coupling with the engine being in gear and hold a finger on the number one spark plug opening. Okay, and that's it, top dead center number one. And you can see that the rotor is pointing to where that tower was for the number one cylinder on the distributor cap. I will now remove the distributor for the sake of this video. It does not really need to be removed on this boat because of the access. But just so you understand the process, I've removed the retaining plate for it. And then it's a matter of lifting it straight up and out. And notice that the rotor rotates as it comes up about 30 degrees. That's due to the helical gear that drives the shaft. See like that. So if you have to remove the distributor, this is the process. And then the tricky part is getting back engaged properly with the gears with the rotor in the proper orientation. Let's see if we can't do that here. Well, that's a little too far. One, two, too far. There we go. It's back in the same orientation and that's how you'll do it. Okay, we remove the original coil, replace the bolts with studs, put the new bracket, the old bracket on the new coil, and now we'll put the coil in place on the studs. At this point in time, we'll just put a nut on the manifold side of the coil uh, because the ground for the module goes on the other side. The new coil is installed and the breaker plate has been removed from the distributor. This particular unit is in immaculate condition, so all we'll be doing is replacing the springs. And here we have the new springs installed in the distributor. You really don't notice any difference, but they are new now. The next step will be to install the new breaker plate. Here we have the shutter ready to be pushed down onto the distributor shaft. Note that these slots are 45 degrees away from the high point on the cam on the distributor shaft. It's important to note that so that the shutter gets on in the proper orientation. Here we have the shutter installed on the distributor shaft. In this case we used a heat gun very gingerly and got it just warm enough to allow it to fit on the shaft. Note that one of the slots in the shutter lines up with the notch in the shaft that engages the rotor. And that's a good reference mark for getting the shutter on in the right orientation. The breaker plate has been 
installed in its final position and the optical trigger has been adjusted vertically so as to put the shutter in about the midway position when it has lifted up and is running, period. The next step is to close up the distributor, install the module, and prepare to start the engine. And here's the finished product. We'll start her up here in a second. You can see the red light flashing on the XR3000 module. Mission accomplished.